Today we're going to be working on lesson eight, which is percent proportion problems. Our target is I can solve percent proportion percent problems by using various methods. Okay, a percent proportion is one ratio or fraction that compares part of a quantity to the whole quantity. The other ratio is equivalent percent as a fraction out of 100. Proportion is an equation stating that two ratios or rates are equivalent or equal to each other. I want you to go through the four quick check problems. Pause them right now, then we'll review through them. So pause the video and go ahead and go through those problems. All right, let's take a look. The process is always the same. Change the percent to a decimal of to a multiplication sign and then multiply across. So we have 28 hundredths times 84 is 23 and 52 hundredths. Here I have 248% of 8. Decimal point goes here and move it two places to the left. We have 2 and 48 hundredths times 8, which is 19 and 84 hundredths. Here the decimal is already in and we have 31 hundredths of a percent. So that's less than 1%. We move that decimal two places to the left, put it in, and multiply. And we get 3 and 72 hundredths. The local post office conducted a survey of 600 of its mail recipients, so people who get mail, to find the time of day when the mail was delivered. The results of the survey are shown. The post office wants all mail to be delivered before 4 p.m. 16% okay. get it after. So 16% of 600. Move the decimal two places to the left, and then multiply, and we get 96 people. All right. We're going to be taking a look at the percent proportions. And so a percent proportion is one ratio or a fraction that compares part of a quantity to the whole. So this is still just like your part to whole. Okay, part to whole. Now what we do is we take this box and we fill in what we know. 10 is 25% of what number? We don't know what that overall number is, so we have to take a look. We know that we have 10. We know that it's 25%, and percent means out of 100. So it's 25 over 100. Now we just have to find this missing box. So what we might have to do is create equivalent fractions to then solve. So this one down here looks really confusing, but it's not. So we're just going to get rid of this for a second so that we can walk through this. I'm going to simplify 25 hundredths. I can divide both of them by 25 to get 1 fourth. Okay, so if we look at our two fractions there, I have 10 over question mark is equal to 1 over 4. So what did I multiply 1 by to get to 10? I multiplied it times 10. I have to do the same thing to the bottom because that's our phrase that pays. What you do to the top, you must do to the bottom. And we multiply times 10. So 10 is 25% of 40. All right. I might have gone through that too fast. So we're going to try example two together. Example two together. So is of percent of 100. So I'm actually taking a look and pairing this little box so that we can get it in here again. So 30 is, so that's our is, that's my part. Finish that. 30 is 60% of what number? This box is always going to be 100. So we're making equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions. How do I go from 30 to 60? So if I go 30 times 2 is 60, I, in order to go from here to here, I have to divide by 2 to get what? 100 divided by 2 is 50. That's my whole. All right, that's my whole. I want you to pause the video right now and try this problem. Go. Now, 
Country music makes up 75% of Landon's music. If he has 90 downloaded country music songs, how many songs does Landon have in his library? Without even underlining anything, I know that I can put 100 in this bottom corner because that 100 goes there no matter what every single time. I have a percent, so I know I can put my percent right here. The only thing I have to do is determine, is this my part or my whole? So 70% of his library is country music, so it's my part. This is a 90 here. So now I just have to look. Can I multiply or divide 90 by something to get to 75? No. So I'm going to have to scale. What I can do is I can simplify 75 over 100. If we know our simplifying, that's three-fourths. What do I multiply three by in order to get to 90 times 30? What I do to the top, I must do to the bottom times 30. I get 120 total songs. So 90 over 120 is equal to 75 over 100. Is equal to 75 over 100. Whoop. Let's take a look. Example number four. 40%, we're getting tricky in writing it as words, of students in Miguel's class have blue eyes. If there are 25 students in the class, how many have blue eyes? This is a little bit different because... It's my of, okay? That's my whole. The whole class is 25 kids. So I know that this goes down here. 25, 100, and we know that we have 40% of the students. So when I'm looking, what do I multiply 25 by to get to 100? We know that 25 times 4 is 100. So I have to divide 40 by 4 to get 10. So 10 students in Miguel's class have blue eyes. I want you to try example 5 and 6 on your own. Pause the video now and give it a go. I'm sorry, before you do that, you should also draw your box. Is of percent 100. Is of percent 100. All right, take a look. We know each of these boxes are going to be 100. In this problem, 30% of 80, of is the bottom, equals 100. This is one where I'm going to have to scale because 80 doesn't multiply evenly to get into 100. So I can simplify this fraction to divide by 10 to get 3 tenths. Notice I put the equal sign in the middle. That's because they are equivalent. I multiply 10 times 8 to get 80. What I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. 3 times 8 is 24. 24 is 30% of 80. See how I write that? 24 is 30% of 80. Whee! There we go, 80. Looks like a balloon. Oh, all right, moving on. What percent of 30 is 24? So what percent of 30 is 24? You notice on this one, we don't have a percent, so we don't know what our percent is. Now we can do this multiple ways. We can change this fraction, 24 out of 30, into a decimal. Or we can make our equivalent fractions. I can simplify this by dividing by 3, and getting 8 tenths 
Sorry, not sure where I'm writing. Because this is an equivalent fraction. Why did I divide by 3? Because I know that I can multiply 10 to get to 100. Ten times ten is a hundred. Eight times ten is eighty. So twenty four out of thirty is eighty percent out of a hundred. That's a zero, not a six. All right. Now, this may seem a little bit of a confusing topic, but you will be able to get this. It's all stuff that you've done before it just looks different all right so we'll work on it tomorrow at the beginning of class all right good luck